Many people sometimes wonder, why did this happen to me? Why did the Lord send me this trouble? And no matter how difficult these trials may be, know that the Lord is always ready to help us overcome them if we only ask Him to do so. Today we will share with you the simple words that Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, used to say in difficult moments of his life, and God, most great and holy be He, answered him and helped him to overcome any difficulties. Be sure to watch this video to the end, so you don't miss the words that will help us solve our problems. But before we tell you about these words, listen to the words of Allah, Most High, Holy and Great is He who speaks in the Qur'an. The people said to them, The people have gathered against you, fear them. But this only increased their faith, and they said, Allah is sufficient for us, He is a wonderful protector. The people have gathered against you, fear them. But this only increased their faith, meaning those faithful people who were threatened by the multitude of the enemy and his army. But they were not afraid of this. Moreover, they trusted in the Lord and asked for His help, and they invoked the name of their Lord, saying, Allah is sufficient for us, He is a wonderful protector, and their Lord helped them, for they trusted in Him. And verily these same words, Sufficient for us is Allah, He is a wonderful protector, said the Prophet Ibrahim, Peace be upon him, when he was about to be thrown into the fire. But his Lord saved him. It is reported that Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them both, said, Allah is sufficient for us, he is a wonderful protector, were the words of Ibrahim, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, when he was thrown into the fire, and these were also the words of Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, when he was told, Verily men have gathered against you, fear them, but this only added to their faith, and they said, Allah is sufficient for us, he is a wonderful protector. Another version of this hadith reports that Ibn Abbas may Allah be pleased with them both, said, The last words of Ibrahim, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, when he was thrown into the fire, were, Allah is sufficient for me, he is a wonderful protector. And also in the Holy Quran, Allah says, They said, Burn it and help your gods if you act. So we said, O fire, become for Ibrahim, Abraham, coolness and salvation. They wanted to harm him, but we made it so that they were at the greatest loss. When a person faces trials and tribulations and is patient, it may cause the Lord to forgive such a person's sins and give him a reward. Or did you think that you would enter paradise without experiencing what befell your predecessors? They were afflicted with poverty and disease. They were so distressed that the messenger and those who believed with him said, When will Allah's help come? Verily, Allah's help is at hand. And the Lord most beneficent has revealed in this ayat that men will surely be subjected to various tests, tests of prosperity, misfortune or hardship, just as previous generations have been tested. This is the decree of the Lord Omniscient, Holy Great, which always remains in force and is not subject to change. If a person adheres to God's laws, he is bound to pass the test, and if he patiently fulfills the Lord's commands, disregarding the difficulties that arise along the way, and fears the Lord, trusts in Him, and asks for His help, he will attain the highest happiness, paradise, it is also narrated in an authentic hadith from Abu Darda, may Allah be pleased with him, that the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, the one who will say the word seven times every morning and every evening, Asbi Allahu la ilaha illahu alayh, tawakkaltu wa huwa rabbul arsh al -azim. Allah is sufficient for me, there is no deity worthy of worship except him, in him only do I trust, and he is the Lord of the great throne, Allah the Most High will deliver me from the cares of this world and the world eternal. The believer should ask his Lord for something more often, ask his Lord for anything except what he has forbidden, for it is reported that the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, Make supplication to Allah for welfare more often. In another authentic hadith, Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, said, The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, liked to address Allah with supplications that were short in form, but expressed the very essence, leaving out other words. And remember that supplication to your Lord is the best worship, as narrated by the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, who said, the best worship is is supplication. And in another hadith it is narrated from Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, that the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, 
The weakest among people is the one who is unable even to call out with supplication, and the stingiest among them is the one who has shown stinginess with salutation, salam. Also in another authentic hadith, it is narrated from Abu Sa'id al-Khudri, may Allah be pleased with him, that, once, the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, How can I enjoy life when he who holds the horn, referring to the angel Israfil, who will blow the horn at Allah's command, signaling the beginning of the day of resurrection, has already raised it to his mouth and is listening, waiting for the command that he will blow it. It seems that the companions of the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, found it hard to listen to these words. And then he said to them, say, Sufficient for us is Allah. He is a wonderful protector. Remember, dear brothers and sisters, that when you have a problem, when you cannot solve something, or when you have difficulties and do not know what to do, trust in the Most High God, great and holy is He, and never lose hope in the Lord's mercy. Be patient and move towards the goal. Indeed, the Lord's help is near, and the Lord will make you glad. It is not fitting for a true believer to lose hope in the mercy of his Lord, for the Almighty says in the Quran, Say unto my slaves who have excess to their own detriment, Despair not of Allah's mercy. Verily, Allah forgives sins completely, for he is the forgiving, the merciful. Also in another ayat of the Quran it is said, And do not lose hope in the mercy of Allah, for only those who disbelieve despair in the mercy of Allah. The fact is that despair in the Lord's mercy is characteristic only of unbelievers who do not believe in the Lord and do not know that He has absolute mercy. But believers know that the Lord is the most merciful and forgiving. He can forgive any sins that were personal between a person and the Lord if the person has sincerely repented to the Lord for them. Therefore believers should always remember this and make supplications to the Lord even in the most difficult times. Trusting in the Lord's mercy helps to endure any trial. Remember, dear brothers and sisters, that when you are unable to solve something, or when you face any difficulty, sorrow, trouble, then say these words being convinced that the Lord hears you and will help you. Hasbun Allahu wa ni'mal wakil. Allah is sufficient for us, He is a wonderful protector, and trust in the Lord the Great and never lose hope in the Lord's mercy. Be patient and be patient, and move towards the goal. Truly, help from the Lord is near and the Lord Omniscient and Great will help and relieve you. Dear brothers and sisters, be sure to like this video and share this video with others, so that they too may find the true path and or share useful information in the comments of this video. For the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, said, He who points out a good thing has the same reward as he who does it. We ask the Lord Great and Holy that he help all people and guide all people on the right path. We also ask for his help and protection. May the mercy of the Lord always be upon us and upon you, dear viewers. God bless you all.